So this entire acoustic project started with private stock. And we got our hands on our old Torres guitar um, that Larry Thomas owned. And I thought it sounded extraordinary. He played one note and it took my breath away. He was sitting about, I don't know, three or four feet in front of me. And we were able to x-ray the guitar and ask the question, what was he thinking when he made it? Not how did he brace it, but what was he thinking? Because it was not an accident that this thing sounded unbelievable. And those qualities that we learned about, those theories that he had that we learned about have made it into this guitar. This has the fan bracing in the back with the X brace on the top. It's got our bracing in it. And f for what you get for the money, uh, all those theories that are in those private stock guitars we started with are in these SE guitars. I've always said from the beginning that an electric guitar was first and foremost an acoustic guitar. And you know, when that was my early shop, I had a list of clients that believed it, but there was also a large group of people that thought maybe that was pretty nuts. But it's not that far away from electric guitar making in terms of the original theory to have the, the string sustain and be really rich harmonically and the bass is there and the mid-range is there and the high end is there and none of it sounds harsh or overbearing, it's all balanced. <laughs> So in a way, it came from the electric guitar theory, but it also came from wanting the thing just to sound huge. So let's listen. You got the back of the guitar, and you got the top of the guitar, and they're almost an octave apart. And this thing is the, the portion of the instrument that's supporting the sound to come out. This is the speaker, this is the port, and this is the cabinet. So we're... The way the theory of this is, is you're locking the back and the sides up and letting the top be nice and loose. It works. I like the way it sounds. This is a tool to do a job. There are different aspects that you would use it for, and we've tried to make this instrument everything it could be for recording, for performing, for writing, for rehearsing, for whatever it is that you're doing, sitting around on the couch and just trying to have a good moment after a hard day of work. All of it. Um, it's a tool to do a job, and I think it does it very, very well.